Hello, I'm High Heel Knight. This is my Fast X pitch beating reaction. I hope he shoots down this movie with both barrels. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Spoilers ahead. So, you have a new Fast and Furious movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I think you can figure out what this one's gonna be called. I, yeah, I've literally never been able to guess. None of these titles have any rhyme or reason to them. Come on, come on, give it a shot. I, do, I guess Fast 10, as in fasten your seat belts? That's right, sir, you got it. I got it? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Fast X, we're doing a Roman numeral thing. Ah, dang it. So anyway, in this one, we're gonna kick things up a notch, cause get this, somebody from Dom's past is back for revenge. Right, that's kind of always the case. So this time, <laughs> this time it's personal. It's literally always personal. Yeah, but see, this time it's personal-er. It's more, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> it works for me, that sounds good. Yeah, so see, we're gonna flash back to Fast Five, and it turns out the bad guy from that movie had a son named Dante, and he's a very angry, sexy pirate. Oh, <laughs> sexy, angry pirates are tight. And so since Dom killed his father and burned all his money, he's been studying him for 10 years to find out what makes him tick. 10 years? 10 years, and he finally cracked the code. You know what it is? I feel like it's family. It's family. Right, that doesn't feel like a decade-long riddle. So now that he's figured that out, it's time for some revenge. So what does he do? Well, he's gonna go force Dom to play Rocket League at the Vatican. What? Yeah, Dante set this big rolling ball bomb loose in the city, and even though Dom saves the Vatican, there's still a big explosion that destroys a bunch of stuff. Oh my god, so a bunch of people die? Ah, everybody's fine, nobody's hurt. How? Well, right after the action scene, we're gonna show a news report saying that nobody died, so people are gonna have to Nine believe us. Died. Smart. So anyway, Dante frames report. the Fast family for the explosion, and they become the most wanted people in the world. Jeez. So I guess they go into hiding. You know it. Well, first Dom has to go do some light posing in front of the Coliseum. Why would he go there? That's one of the most popular tourist destinations on the planet. So that'll be a cool shot for the trailer. That makes sense. So now the Fast family's kind of split up all around the world, and they have this agency after them. What agency? The. Oh, that one. Okay. So one of these teens is Roman and Tez and Ramses, and they've got to buy a new computer for hacking or something. I don't... I could not care less what it's for. Okay. And so Roman and Tez are gonna bicker as they do, and at a certain point, Roman's gonna take some dust from his pocket and just throw it up in the air. What's that? What? Did I miss something? No. All right. Anyway, so then they're gonna try to buy a new computer from... Oh, the random celebrity cameo hat. Yay. Pete Davidson. Oh, that's perfect, because people know who that is. So when they see him, they'll be like, I know. I know who that is. Exactly, so that's gonna be very fun for everybody. And then Han is gonna accidentally eat some psychedelics. Oh, he is? Yeah, he's gonna be eating one of these muffins, and then he's gonna look at it and be like, whoa. Wow, so what effect is that gonna have on the next couple of scenes? Literally none whatsoever. We're never gonna reference it again. Huh. And so that about concludes the most random scene I've ever written, mostly using Mad Libs. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Wow. Anyway, so it turns out Dante is also targeting Dom's son, Little B. So Dom's brother Jacob from the last movie comes in to protect him. You know, as the fun uncle. It's gonna be the, the fun section. Wacky fun uncle. He was completely serious and deadly in the last movie. Hey, shut up. And so they're gonna have a fun little adventure together. Oh, very fun. Yeah, they're gonna commit multiple crimes together, even kill some people. The kid is gonna kill people. Oh, yeah. He's gonna personally blow up several people in their cars using missiles. Wow, he must be so traumatized. Now he's pumped about taking those lives. He's gonna high-five John Cena about it. It's kind of a psycho. Such a good time making human bodies explode to death. All right, so what else is going on? Oh, not much, you. In the movie. You're not in the movie. <laughs> what else is going on in the movie? Oh, well, Letty got arrested during that Rocket League game in Rome, so she gets sent to a remote prison. Oh, she does? She does. All the way in Antarctica, so she's got to find a way to break out. Sounds like that's going to be hard to do. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, this good agency lady Tess stabs her, so she goes to this medical area and is strapped to a table next to Cypher. She's from the last two or three of the ten movies. She sure is, sir. And since Cypher is such a good hacker, she uses the little touchscreen on the side of their beds to not only set them free, but to gas every single guard in the building. Why would that be accessible on a hospital bed touchscreen? Unclear, but it is. So then her and Letty are gonna have a little fist fight, because at this point it'll have been like 30 seconds since the last action scene. Oh my god, what are you nuts? Make them punch each other. This isn't a slow burn drama. Yeah, don't worry, they're gonna punch each other. Amazing! Pow, pow, pow! 
Pow. And so eventually Dante's gonna manage to locate Dom's son. Oh no, he's part of the family. So now Dom's gotta go to Portugal because that's where my dart hit the map on the wall of my office while writing this. <laughs> Very globe trotty. So Dante manages to kidnap Dom's son and so Dom and Jacob have to do some very upset driving very quickly. So if that's not the promise of the premise, I don't know what is. But then some of the cars are dangerous, so Jacob sacrifices himself. So he dies. Well, sir, his car explodes into a massive fireball. So, no, probably not. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> and then this plane carrying almost the entire Fast family gets shot down and explodes. Oh, no. And Dom and his son escape this massive explosion on a dam, only to have the dam be exploded itself, and a huge wall of water rushes towards them. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. And so... Yeah. Wait, what? I feel like that's a natural cutting off point. That's a good place to end that. We're just ending it there. There's nothing's resolved. Yeah, we'll see what happens in a couple of years. That's a good, I think that's a good place to leave it. I don't know, man. I think we're going to need to give people a little more than that. I can have Gal Gadot pop out of a submarine and reveal her character's not dead. That'll work, yeah. Okay, great. So she pops out of a submarine and we cut the credits. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe a tiny bit more for people. We can bring back some other character we haven't seen in a while in a mid credit scene. Perfect. Yeah, that'll distract people from the movie just kind of ending in the middle of an action scene. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Ryan George here. Thanks for watching the pitch meeting. Oh, that movie is a mess, but it definitely has an excellent cliffhanger. I will give it that. <laughs> well, that was my reaction. Like button, subscribe, comment, share, find inspiration everywhere. <laughs>